Vermont, Syracuse tied at 51 at the end of regulation. And we are ready, Lenny, for a five-minute overtime session. Oh, we certainly are. And again, both coaches have now had a chance to see everything the other guy has to throw at him. I don't think Syracuse ever believed that Mopajila had the capability to be a difference maker in this game, but he has been that. And the fact that, again, quality defense is being played, good position on a team work, the ability of the Syracuse zone to cover shooters in critical times, you know, we've seen one whale of a ball game, and it's going to come down again to the fundamental rebounding and defense. Jim Beheim has won his last four overtime games, 12 of his last 13, McNamara in the corner. And he continues to struggle with the shot. Jerry, 3 of 15, make it 3 of 16 from the field. Again, the patience of Vermont has paid off, particularly when they've moved the ball. They've gotten opportunities behind the back line. The three guys in the back line of the 2 3 zone. Lamesh, the floater goes down. And that time, because Syracuse was so cognizant of Coppin Raft along that back line, created room for Clemesh just to step in at that dotted line. Mopajila finding it. 53 51 Vermont. Abrasti pulls up off the dribble. Roberts got a hand on it. Warwick takes it and puts it in. Boy, did you see the long arms of Warwick come out of nowhere to snatch that loose ball? Hakeem Warwick has scored the last 10 points for Syracuse. And that's what you expect star players to do. As you mentioned earlier, make plays. Sorrentine, Payne, Sorrentine, Coppenrath steps out on the baseline and draws a double, splits it, stolen, McNamara, straight to the bucket. Oh, wow, what a tough shot. Hey, boy does not lack confidence. Use the rim nicely to ward off the defender and avoid the block. Jerry McNamara, just a cold-blooded basketball player. From Strat, 55-53, Syracuse. Sorrentine. Rebound to Lamesh. Left hand, no. Coppenrath with the offensive rebound. And Syracuse asking, why not a call over our backs? But you got to get down and block out to get that call. Okajila has been sensational this evening. He's done it all. Dribble drive down the lane, dumps it down, Clement, beautiful catch, no call, out of bounds, will head the other way. Good officiating. We talk about Jerry McNamara with ice water in his veins. Coppenrath trying to split the defenders, loses it. And look at McNamara, go to the other side, avoiding the block. Game side at 51 at the end of regulation. McNamara, high screen, five for it, wheels. And jump ball is the call, and the possession arrow favors Vermont. Mac, Mac, I mean, Warwick has to remember. He's getting double teamed. Understand that. Take your time. Turn and face. Locate the defender. Someone else is open. You can't lose your poise at this point in the game. 22 turnovers for the Orange. We lead by two. Sorgin. Had a thought that McCroskey closed quickly. That's what we're talking about, defense. Down the lane, kicks it out. Mopajila a three. It's killer! Jermaine Mopajila having the game of a lifetime. 20 points, 9 rebounds. Vermont takes a one-point lead. Mopajila doesn't want to go home. Certainly doesn't. Here's Warwick, though. Determined not to go home. Shovels it off. Mopajila with the steal. Bad decision. Again, he's got the ball. Kick it back outside. You know, Akeem Warwick's done a lot of wonderful things in his career, and you'd hate to see his career end on a couple of mistakes that he knows better. Now Vermont pulls it out. Fans chanting. UVM. Let me tell you once again, it comes down to fundamentals. Oh! My goodness! Sorrentine hit that one from the parking lot! And Vermont has a 59-55 lead! 106 to go in OT!
59-55. What a shot by T.J. Sorrentine. And I was about to say it comes down to fundamentals defense, but there's no defense for that. Sorrentine about 32 feet from the basket. Your natural instinct as a defender is not to challenge a shot like that. Sorrentine was one of seven from the field in the first half. He has four threes in the second half and an OT. So here comes Pace, McCroskey, Roberts, McNamara, Warwick. Pace inside, gets the bounce with under a minute to play. Allows Syracuse to set up their trap. Smart play again by Josh Pace going for the push two. A lot of time remaining in OT. 57.9 seconds. Vermont's got to get it inbound. Lead by two. And we're back in Worcester in a barn burner. Vermont in overtime leads Syracuse by two. And the dilemma for Jim Beheim is after the pressure, if Vermont beats it, you go back into man to man and try to go down. We'll see right now they're trapping on the sideline and Syracuse remains in a zone. And the reason is, if Vermont hits another shot, then it becomes a two-possession ball game, and you may run out of time. And in a zone situation, it's harder to create a turnover than it is in a man-to-man -man situation. Sorrentine hit a deep one last time down. Here's Sorrentine off the dribble, off the glass, no! Roberts with the rebound. 20 seconds to go. McNamara dribbles it off his foot. And it's, oh, what a call over and back. With 15.9 to go. Take a look here, see if the ball gets in that front court. Yes, it does. Their argument, Syracuse's argument is that somebody touched it. 15.9 to go. Vermont trying to hold on. Welcome back, 59-57. Vermont with the lead and the ball. Shot clock turned off. 15.9 to go. Got to make one attempt at a steal and got a foul. They want a foul. Flamesh wide open. Oh! And that's the guy you want to foul. Terrific job by Roberts. Flamesh, a 53% free throw shooter. Well, uh, just very lucky. You look at Flamesh right there. And he goes to the basket, and Roberts recovers just in the nick of time. This is a situation Syracuse expected anyway to be able to foul and put him on the line if they did not get the steal. Clemash gets the first one. The second one will make it a two-possession ball game and maybe put it out of reach for the arm. Here's the second. It's short. Oh, man, not even touching iron. Got a little nervous on that one. Syracuse still with life. Jerry McNamara has had a tough shooting night, but he's the guy who wants the ball in his hands. McNamara steps back. Six, five, double clutch. No, tipped around. Out of bounds. We have the other way. How about this? Vermont, four tenths of a second away. And that, in a nutshell, is the night Jerry McNamara had and his team had. Not enough. Never got an open look. They throw it in the front court. It's caught. Upset City in Worcester. The Catamounts knock off the orange. 60-57. The upset of the tournament so far, Vermont knocking off fourth-seeded Syracuse, 60-57. So let's take a look at the bracket. The Catamounts earn an entrance into the second round. So Vermont a winner.